top because we're right now we're looking at a weekly and this weekly candlestick is going to close uh tomorrow sunday the main thing isn't so much right now the main concern isn't so much that uh it bounces up the main concern is that it doesn't break down below this 50 percent line now let's go to the daily so we're going to slowly work our way from the higher time frame to the lower time frame slowly and so what we're doing when we do that is we're zooming in to get a better picture of what's going on all right so we've looked at the weekly and we have we've seen that it's important that we do not break below i'll pull it in first it's important that we don't break below this 50 uh, percent fibonacci number so this is this middle of well, this upper yellow line once we break below that guys then it's looking like we're moving into a reversal situation as compared to just a mere retracement remember retracements are healthy we want to see retracements when we're trading it's you know the stocks or the coins taking a breath before they continue the trend the direction in which they were before the retracement uh we don't want too much of a retracement which is why we don't want to drop below the 50 so if we increase this daily chart let's look at the daily over the past i would say this is seven eight nine nine ish days bitcoin has been uh trading between these two levels the green and the the yellow so that's between the i think that's the 31.2 uh percent fibonacci level and the 50 that is good because what's happening here i'm going to draw a rectangle so what's what's going on here is this downward trend has been stemmed very good bitcoin was just shooting down day after day after day and it's stemmed and we're in a period of consolidation that is actually good because we're not going down as you can see we're not breaking below the 50 percent that's a good sign we're hovering above it it's too close for comfort but it's still better that we haven't broken below it so this is a good situation now we're going to this last red candlestick is the candlestick for today um saturday we it's important to pay attention to what happens to sunday's candlestick guys what's going to happen we need a green candle we really do if we don't have a green candle then we just want it basically whatever candle we get we don't want it to break below and so we have looked at this, this is a one day this is the daily so this is the daily and we see that bitcoin the the downward trend has halted that is good so let's move on now we're going to go down to a smaller time frame which is going down will be the four hour I have this and i want to see if i can show something and it's called the head and shoulders pattern sometimes it's a bit difficult to identify but we see something that's looking a bit like the head and shoulders pattern. Let's make this a bit deeper. So with the head and sh the head and shoulders is not the head. This is not the head and shoulders. This is the inverted head and shoulders where we have here something that looks like a shoulder. Here we have what looks like a head. And then here we have another shoulder. Now, if this works right, by sunday and monday our green candlesticks will confirm this head this inverted head and shoulders and what it is is a bullish signal when you see an inverted head and shoulders it's a sign that the trend the current trend which is downwards is coming to an end good we've had enough of red we want to see green so it's kind of now let me i'm going to show you what a true no, I'm going to show you what a textbook head and shoulder would look, would look like. So this is what it would look like in the textbook. Nice and neat. We have one shoulder. We have a, a lower down head. We have another shoulder. And can you see what happens after this second shoulder? Price action zips up. Powerful. And so if we go back to our charts, 
It's not quite like it is in the textbook, but if you fiddle around with your chart, sometimes you can see it and you can see it sloping a bit. So we want over the next two couple of days, over the space of, uh, yeah, the next couple of days, this is what we want to see. This is what I'd like to see, guys. We want to see this happen. And everybody will be able to rest easy and sleep better at night. Okay, so this we're on the four hour, this is the four hour chart. And we can attempt to draw a trend line, which would look something like, again, guys, you got to understand technical analysis. There's no right or wrong answer. But so long as you you kind of got the meat of the matter, like what you're trying to achieve, and I would do something like um, maybe from here. And the point with the trend lines is you're trying to touch as many, you're trying to make your trend line touch as many of these uh, candlesticks as they can. So here you can see I'm playing around with it, and I would say about there. So this is um, a trend line over the last nine days and we can see the trend is downwards. Now we could do something else. We could draw another trend line. But this time to take it from this super long wick. This was a dangerous wick, you guys. Look at it. Very dangerous because it took us all the way down to the third to 30,000. I think we went down to 29,000 Bitcoin. That was... Um, that was dangerous. And so, there we go. So, with this trend line, again, we have a bear flag. Okay. So, with a bear flag, a bear flag and a bull flag, they're continuation uh, patterns. So, if price action breaks below this triangle, again, it's not good. But what we want is we want price action to do something maybe like this. Up, down, up, down. This is what we want. These are the kind of dreams we want to have. We want to dream and see Bitcoin doing this kind of up, down, up, down. Not dropping below this. I should put some price labels not dropping below we don't want bitcoin dropping below 34000 we want bitcoin breaking above not just breaking above the trend line which there but ultimately we want bitcoin to break above this next fibonacci level once we're above 41 guys we're out of the woods done deal is done and here it is it has happened this is two days later when we did the live stream bitcoin was right here at the bottom of the trend line and exactly as i predicted that it would need to move up and down within the boundaries of this trend line and then the hope is that it will continue upward rather than break down and all we need now is we do not want the price of Bitcoin falling below 35,000. We want it moving and breaking above $36,600. We need to stay above before we can even begin to hope for a break above the Fibonacci uh, level right here. We need it to permanently stay above $36,000. Since two days ago, it has been able to get as high as this white level I've just drawn here. It has gone up to 37,700. Guys, that's awesome. But right now, we're still trending up and down within the confines of this trend line, and we need to keep on watching this space.